Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully, not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. This guy can keep a pace that very few human beings can match. His cardio is absolutely outstanding. Well, nice to see this young fighter healthy and making the walk here tonight. His takedowns are just incredible. High amplitude takedowns, great technique, explosion really with every shot, and seemingly no telegraph as well. So even a fighter with good takedown defense, more often than not, is not going to see this guy's shot coming. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected, shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Even match up here on paper, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! All round in the UFC lightweight division. It's a DC first. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Portland, Oregon, Assassin. And now with the disease upon fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico, Chico. All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to corners, come out fight. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right yeah. now. I'm very yeah. excited. So we are underway. And he continues to work on the inside of that lead leg. There's a good knee to the body. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Good leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, tagged him. Good check of the leg kick, Joe. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh, slam knee! Nice takedown. He's got him stacked here. He's gotta be careful as he has them stacked here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. And 
Busy. He's going to go for a heel hook. Nice. Pops that leg out of there. Hook him with the jab. That one hurt. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. Oh, nice slam. slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Both fighters back to their feet now. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Landed that one. Big body kick. He hurt him with that hook. Big Superman punch. Oh, what a leg kick. Under two minutes to go. We try to establish that jab. There's a front kick right down the middle. Nice combination there. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Good body shot. Kick lands. Oh, nice. Oh, Big elbow beautiful there. elbow. So 100 minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Excellent takedown defense. Oh, he pummels. Now he's got double underhooks, Joe. Tying him up here in the clinch. Nice body shot. They continue to exchange. Nice Superman punch. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. He's doing a really good job timing his shots and landing a good series of strikes here. Round time, two time, time. Oh, oh, oh. Brittany Palmer is here as well. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Round two underway. All right, so second round underway. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. That's a hard, hard hook. Lands. Whoa, these guys are swinging. Beautiful hook. Big oh, left Joe, punch. That is a huge left hand. Oh, that head kick landed. Big, Big body shot. shot. Body. That goes in and secures the takedown. Now he's stacking him. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Constantly a moving target. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. And he connects there. Oh, good Great combination. combination. Now to go round two. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, so some fatigue striking, I guess you would call it here. He is landing, but just not inflicting much damage because his stamina is on low. Takedown defense has held up thus far. Couldn't agree with you more. And there comes the separation now. Oh, heavy leg kick there. That one hurt him, Joe. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Boom. Shin to the dome. Nice leg kick. Tags him. Oh, big elbow. Guillotine. Guillotine. 
one arm guillotine here. Flips him over into the mount. It's getting close. Tremendous pressure on the neck. He's got one leg in, in between him, so he's in half guard here. Good punch. Inside control, and the horn sounds on round two. He's still taking his guard on the one, two seconds. Make him pay. We have to come on. Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. So the next round is underway here. We set off the top. This was very good matchmaking, evenly matched fighters, and that's exactly how it played out in the last round, which was very good. Not outstanding, but high-level MMA action on both sides. We'll see if one fighter can take control here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Real oh, jumping knee! What a brawl. These guys are going off. is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Trying the flying knee there. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. He postures into place. Nice. Hammer fist. Ooh, Ooh. big elbow. Big body punch. And a crisp elbow lands. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And he gets out. Wow, that was a deep choke. Trying to spin to the back. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Big left hand. And now he's got the back. Oh, he's got a Kimura. This is, could be it. That Kimura was nasty, but he got free. Back to the feet now. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Finds his range with the jet. Another shot. Lands a punch. Change into the southpaw stance now, Joe. as the round was ending. Wow, so just when his opponent maybe was trying to turn the page to the next round, he gets caught with that huge shot, goes down, and the referee wisely jumps in to stop the fight. So that'll do it. Beautiful technique there on the fight ending blow, and maybe he caught his opponent off guard a little bit, Joe. And here's the end. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out again. Ba boom! Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 45 seconds of the third round. 
Join the winner by Knockout Assassin. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.